Hello and welcome to PM Studios Small Basic Tutorial number 11. Today I'm going to be going over for loops. This will be a relatively short tutorial. Um, again, this was done for a request on one of my videos. Who He requested um, three separate tutorials and today is just going to cover one of them, which is for loops. And I failed to understand how I skipped that in the first place because it's one of the vital parts of programming, but uh, all things aside, here we go. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to type in for, and this, of course, is the declaration of a for loop. Um, unlike most other uh, programming languages that are complete, and most other programming languages, period, regardless of whether they're complete or not, like object-oriented or just understood, um, for is the standard declaration, but this is different in the sense that when you declare your variable, you also have to go to, which establishes how far you want the variable to go. Um, this is good in some senses that it makes the for loop easy to understand and it um, puts a clear and stated increment into the for loop, but at the same time it hinders you from being able to do some more complex things that you were able to do in some object-oriented programming languages. So let's go for i equals 1 to 10. That's going to increment i from 1 to 10 and once it hits 10 it's going to terminate the loop. And so here we're going to go if um, I or math dot um, remainder uh, I comma two, and what this does is it divides I by two, and it returns the remainder of the two. So if math dot remainder I comma two equals one, then we're going to um, text window dot right line hello YouTube and then else text window dot right line goodbye YouTube and if and n4. Okay, so what this does is it takes i and it starts at 1 and then it's going to run 1 through if math.remainder i divided by 2 equals 1 then and since that since it does equal 1 1 divided by 2 does equal 1 it's going to return the first if statement which is hello youtube and then it's going to end the loop and it's going to go back up to the beginning of the 4 and increment it 1 so it'll be 2 and it'll run it through, and since i divided by 2, or 2 divided by 2 equals 0, it's going to skip the uh, if and go to the else, which is goodbye YouTube, and it's going to keep doing that until it hits 10. So if we run f5, we should get exactly that. And it does that because I set it to 2, but if we were to set it back to 1 like originally and rerun it, it'll say hello YouTube again. See? Alright. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. I know it was relatively short. Um, if, don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, and don't forget to visit us at PM Studio or simostudios.webs.com. Um, as always, check the uh, check the sidebar for the code. Thank you, and have a nice day.